hidden from this pandemic, some artists and musicians have been rolling up their sleeves for some ambitious projects, thanks to a round of grants from Burlington City Arts. Local 22's Devin Bates joins us live now in the studio to explain. Devin? That's right, Lauren. The grants awarded this year have gone towards projects with a purpose. $35,000 will fund displays ranging from those that celebrate community members with disabilities to a 40-foot-long cloth mural that commemorates Vermont's music community during the era of COVID. Artists engaging with community was going to be a really important part of returning to community life kind of post-pandemic. And it was an incredible response. We got a lot of um, artist applications. 13 Burlington artists have been getting creative thanks to community fund grants from Burlington City Arts. I spoke with Lydia Kern, who's been given $3,000 to prepare an art show that celebrates work created by adults with disabilities in the Queen City. I've been working at this organization called Home Base, a social service agency that supports adults with developmental disabilities. And during the pandemic, I taught Zoom art classes for our clients. I really wanted to highlight their work in our community. That exhibit will be at Letty Park on September 12th. Kern's grant will also give one of her clients the opportunity to plan and facilitate their own craft making workshop. She has a desire to uh, teach her peers different skill sets, experiment with different materials. I'm really excited to kind of uh, get to support her vision. Other projects include creating a 40 foot long cloth mural commemorating Vermont's music community during the era of COVID. Jim Lockridge and his music office, Big Heavy World, are handling that, along with a soundtrack to go with it. The pandemic just crushed them. It just took the rug out. This project helps reassert that we are a community. It helps us recognize one another, you know, with the hundreds of different people involved. Um, so for what it's worth, it's, it's symbolic of coming back together. These projects were reviewed by an independent panel of Burlington residents. This is the fifth year of the grand program, which was paused last year during the pandemic. Live in studio, Devin Bates, Local 22 News. Thanks, Devin.